Hey guys, and welcome to the start of another weekly reading vlog. Today is Sunday, August 23rd, and I didn't vlog at all last week because it was my first day back at work since summer vacation started, and I'm still trying to figure out how I want to vlog during the work week, so I thought that this week would be a good trial. It's the first week that the students come back to school. But let me go ahead and show you what I plan on reading this week. I, my goal is to finish at least one or two books this week. Okay, the first book that I want to get to this week is The Ballad of Sombergs and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. And I actually started reading this yesterday and I am literally just on chapter two. So I do plan on finishing this this week and I am super excited. And then my TBR for the month of August, I was supposed to read a classic and that was uh, continuing my read of Sherlock Holmes and I was supposed to read The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, which is about 150 pages, but I'm not really feeling Sherlock Holmes, but I do want to read a classic because I've just not been doing well with my classics this year at all. I've read two and that is just unacceptable. So if I don't end up reading this, I was thinking about picking up Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. And the reason is, is that this year I have to teach some of his short stories to my seventh graders. The state kind of changed the curriculum. And while I've read the short story I'm supposed to teach, I have never read Slaughterhouse Five and it kind of put me in the mood to read a Kurt Vonnegut book. So I'm thinking about reading this rather than Sherlock Holmes. And then I got the audiobook for Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This is technically on my September TBR. So I'm thinking about starting the audio for this to at least get some headway and then maybe finish it in September because I like to have an audiobook. I'm thinking about just putting Sherlock Holmes aside for now and reading. The Ballad of Sombergs and Snakes and Slaughterhouse Five this week and starting the audiobook for Dark Matter. Hey guys, so it's about 2.30 and I'm gonna stop reading for a while, um, but I did read up to chapter five in The Ballad of Sombergs and Snakes and that is page 62. And I'm really liking it. I'm really liking learning about President Snow's backstory and like the history of Pan Am and how the Hunger Games were different when Snow was younger as compared to what we read about with Katniss and Kita. So I'm actually really liking this and I didn't realize that it was such a long book. I think it's like 500, yeah, about 500 pages, but it's a very quick read. I'm reading it pretty fast, so I feel like I'll be able to get it done this week. So I'm happy that I got to at least chapter five. And then I did start Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. And this is another quick read. It's um, about 200 pages, but it's a small book. And it's all about our main character that came back from World War II. And he's trying to write a book about a battle that he was a part of. And just kind of him trying to process post-war life and reconcile, I guess, the morality of is it ever okay to go to war? Because this is known as like a very anti-war book. And yeah, I'm glad that I picked this up. And I think that I'll end up really liking it and getting a lot out of it. So good choice. I'm glad I picked it up instead of Sherlock Holmes, even though I love Sherlock Holmes. So I'm gonna stop for now. And I actually do have to do some bookshelf reorganization because yesterday I filmed my summer book haul and I ended up getting 20 new books. <laughs> so I have to figure out where to put them in my shelf. So I'm gonna do some bookshelf, like I said, reorganization. And I'll film that if you guys wanna watch because I got a lot of YA, some adult and just a whole bunch of different stuff. So I'm really gonna have to like shuffle some books around in order to fit everything, especially my YA section, because that's pretty big and pretty filled to the max. So I'm going to go ahead and start that and hopefully I can get it done in like half an hour.
like super full now. <laughs> Those 20 books really, really made them super full. So normally I like to have my shelves in alphabetical order and by genre, and I really had to make some concessions in order for everything to fit. So I ended up, ended up having to move my Chronicles of Narnia to my classics, like my classics anthologies, um, just because I needed the room in the adult fantasy. And I really had to shuffle around my adult fantasy in order to fit all of my YA. So my adult fantasy starts all the way down there now. And I'm kind of upset that I didn't get to keep as much in alphabetical order. And I had to double stack my Jim Butcher Codex Alera series in order to make everything fit. And I like to have series next to each other, but as you can see, I got the first two Aragon books there. And then at the bottom, the Aragon books there. So it's just not possible with all of the series I have to keep them together. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that bookshelf reorganization. And yeah, my book haul should be up before this vlog. So it's about four o'clock now and I think I'm gonna go start getting dinner ready um, because it takes about an hour, a little bit more than an hour to cook. I'm gonna be making oven roasted potatoes and some meatloaf, but I use ground turkey in my meatloaf instead of ground beef because it's way less greasy and I actually like the way it tastes more. And while dinner's cooking, I think I'm gonna work on some writing and yeah, so I read another chapter of The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and I'm actually really enjoying it. So it was a good choice to pick up for like a book to kind of close out the end of the month. And that's really all I have for you guys. I will show you how I make my potatoes and my meatloaf and I'll check back in with you in a bit. <laughs>
guys so today is friday the 28th and as you can tell i didn't vlog for the entire week except for sunday so i'm gonna include sunday's footage but i guess this is gonna be more of like a weekend reading vlog but i just wanted to update you on what i've been reading throughout the week which i haven't really gotten as much reading done as i wanted to or anticipated i thought that i'd be able to get more done than i have but i'm still reading the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins and I just hit the halfway point so I'm about on page 250 something and it finally picked up. It was a little bit slow in the beginning, a lot of backstory, a lot of explanation, a lot of introduction to the tributes but it has finally picked up and I'm excited to see what happens next so I am liking this if not for the slow beginning but that's okay. And then I am reading Slaughterhouse Five. I did start that, and um, I have no idea where I put it. No idea. I just spent at least ten minutes looking for that book. It's a really small book, and I took it to work with me one day and didn't end up reading it. But I don't think I left it at work. I don't know. Maybe it's in my car or like in a sofa cushion. But I cannot find that darn book. I'm only about fifty pages into Slaughterhouse Five, and it's a quick read because it's such a small book, and it's I don't really have that much opinion of it because I haven't read enough and I can't find it to continue reading it so I'm gonna focus on the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes I guess until I find Slaughterhouse 5. I would like to get both finished this weekend but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I really want to get this one finished. I think it's feasible to read 250 pages in the next three days so that I can finish this by the end of the month. That is my goal and I did get a new book. I know I just did a book haul and I forgot that I had ordered this and that it was coming or I would have included it in my book haul and I was going to do an unboxing but my husband ordered it with his Amazon and had his, his name on it so when it came he opened it but I finally got Nemesis by S.J. Kincaid in the mail. This is the third book in the Diabolic series and the YA sci-fi series and I love this series and I'm so excited to see how she ends this trilogy. It's just oh, so good. So I will probably be picking up this pretty soon. YA books usually don't take me very long to get through. So I don't know if I'm going to pick it up right away at the beginning of September because I do want to get to some of my larger reads like a Conjuring of Light and um, The Woman in White, but this is a series that I do want to finish by the end of 2020. So I think I'm just going to be focusing on this book t this weekend, like I said, and my husband's playing golf again. So tonight I have a lot of time to uh, read. I got off work early. I'm about to do a 40 minute leg workout and then I will shower, eat some dinner, and I'll have like the rest of the night to just read. So that's my plans and I just wanted to check in with you. So I'm going to read a little bit after my workout and I will check back in with you guys. I don't think I've ever introduced you guys to Sydney. This is my third cat, my girl cat. She doesn't really like it when the boys are around because they kind of bother her. But she's spending some time up here with me. Come here, girl. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. She is. But this is my third more hidden cat. Yeah. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Hey guys, so today is Saturday and it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I did get a lot of reading done yesterday. In fact, I finished the Ballad of Sombergs and Snakes, and overall, I did like it. I'm definitely glad that I read it. I really found it interesting that we got to learn the backstory of President Snow. I definitely didn't feel as big of a connection to it as I did the original trilogy or any of the characters, unfortunately, even Lucy Gray, who I felt was the most compelling. So I really didn't love it as much as the original Hunger Games, but I'm still glad that I read it. And it wasn't perfect. There were some issues that I had with it. I felt like the pacing could have been better and I had some issues with the ending of the book, but I do need some time to kind of sort through my thoughts. And I think I'm gonna do a full spoiler free and maybe with spoiler review of this book, maybe a discussion because I do have a lot of thoughts about it. And 
yeah, I kind of wish that I'd read the original trilogy before I jumped into this because I don't know if it's the problems that I have or just with Suzanne Collins' writing style or if it was this book specifically. So now I, I don't know because it's been so long since I read The Hunger Games. But I'm glad I read it and I think I'm going to give it like a three and a half stars. So met my goal for the weekend. And then I did find Slaughterhouse Five finally, <laughs> but I haven't read any of it. So I'm still on page 50 of this. And I made a strawberry banana smoothie earlier, so I'll be sipping on this. It's like so good when it's just so hot outside. And then I have been listening to the audiobook for Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I really don't know why it's discolored at the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's weird. And I got the audiobook from my library, and I'm about 30% of the way through, which is page, I think, 108. Yeah, I just finished chapter five and it's page 109 and I'm liking this as well. Uh, this book follows a character named Jason and he's a physicist um, and he ended up becoming a professor instead of like going after his goal and becoming this famous physicist. And one day he gets kind of kidnapped at gunpoint and taken to this warehouse and he wakes up into this completely different life. So right now he's just trying to kind of figure out what's going on. And um, at the ending of chapter five, some guy came after him, tasered him, and then we're going to find out where he's going to be taken if this kidnapper, this new kidnapper is good or bad or whatever. So I feel like... I kind of know what's going to happen and I don't want to say that Blake Crouch is a predictable writer because I've just heard that this book is like mind-blowing but I just I feel like there's a lot of things in it that seem predictable and my husband I was telling him about it he said sounds like Total Recall which I have seen that movie I think I've seen the old one and the new one I know that I've seen the Colin Farrell one but I don't remember anything about it so y'all have to let me know if this book is like Total Recall because I might actually rewatch it because now I'm curious. But that's where I'm at for my reading. So for the uh, this week, I finished one book and I started another and got 30% of the way through and then started Slaughterhouse 5 and barely read any of it. So I feel like it's a good week. But I do have some bookish mail that I want to open with you guys. So I ordered a book off of Thrift Books. It's like nothing crazy. So in my state, um, I teach English 1, so ninth grade English. In the past, we haven't had required reading. Well, this year they decided to tell us what they wanted us to read. So one of the books that they want us to teach for ninth grade is I Am Malala. So I know that there's like a free version of this on the internet. Um, I've already downloaded it, but I like reading physical books. And I'm pretty sure most people know what this book is about at this point, but Malala is a Pakistani girl who was shot by the Taliban for standing up for girls' rights to an education, and she's won the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, she was a teenager when she won it, so um, I am really interested in reading her story um, now that I've kind of like done some research and learned more about her. So... Yeah, this is the book I got, and I got it from Thrift Books, and I think I got, like, maybe a good copy, because if you guys have never ordered from Thrift Books, you can kind of pick what um, condition you want to purchase your book in, so it's really not in the best condition. It is definitely used. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is someone <laughs> taught this book before, that person, Nathan, from Miss Seifert. So this was a school copy, obviously, a student. So... Thrift books, you just got to know what you're getting into, but it's going to be at school. I'm going to be using it with my students. It's going to get a lot of wear and tear, and there's no point in me spending a lot of money on a book. But this is a book that I will probably be reading in September because I need to read it very soon before I can teach it, and I'm excited to get to it. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and close out my reading vlog for the week. I feel like I had a good week. I'm really glad that I got The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes read because that was one of the series that I wanted to finish by the end of the year. And I got a couple new books. It's always a good week when you buy a couple new books. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you plan on reading them or if you'd like to see me read a certain book in a vlog, if you have any good recommendations. And I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye. Thank you.